What's up all? My tenant here. Set up a little table here real quick, trying to get something done here before I um, <clears throat> hit, the, hit the sack, as it were. Um, I need to get a different uh, screen for my live screen there. Pardon me, you're gonna hear a little double up here. Okay, um, chat, if you're here, I'm just setting up a table. Um, I've got it turned in an art ends, and I, there's a battle group uh, scenario called uh, Friesen in the field with Charlie Platoon to describe how to play the game battle group. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it to play a game of bolt action, battle group, and flames of war. So not quite the same scale, but nonetheless. Well, I think I'm going to put one of these guys up here. It's kind of a little marker. This is Flames of War uh, Battlefront terrain walls. These are one of those things that I should just pick up occasionally when I see some. I'm trying to pick up like a building a month, a little terrain feature a month. That might slow down. I made kind of a large investment, as it were. Investment's probably loose. Uh, loose use of the word. Um, I don't know the point value I have coming in, but let's just say that I have essentially a complete late war British Army, except for artillery, which is funny because that's what they were known for. And also a couple tanks missing from the German OB, but it's pretty complete. Very nice selection of four Panzer fours, fives, um, sixes, uh, and then some of the specialties, some Nash or some of the more specialty ones they may not have. Um, maybe I think I get a couple of, of plane each. Um, the British are primed, they're not painted, the Germans are painted. Germans are coming from Canada, should be delivered the 21st tomorrow. The, the British. Slash Canadian should be here. Um, so that'll be interesting. Pardon me a moment while I put this away. So now this is Bokash country. Um, something else I'm working on. So I made this bocage slash hedge um, for six mil. It's on little tiny popsicle sticks. Probably actually seems smaller. Uh, yeah, smaller popsicle sticks. Just put uh, clump foliage and did that ages ago. Silly me, I didn't paint all of the sticks, so the sticks show through on some of them. But they work all right for 15. as hedges. Um, let me see if I can get one of the bigger ones. You know, it's a nice hedge. You can see over it. But um, I know it's not great, but so you can see over it. Um, but I'll just count it as bocage, even though it's not really bocage. So I thought, let me try this. Now I'm not going to be able to do this for this game, but I'm going to try a couple of them and see what I think. So I've got some wider popsicle sticks. Here, whoops, let me pull out one of these. Probably more, this is more like a tongue depressor. Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So that, but first let's look at how wide that is. That's a problem with it doing it that method. Um, so it's as it's as wide as the base. So it's probably not quite wide enough for true bocage. And I put some. I have thinner. Let me see. Yeah. So the. Hmm. I put on almost 15 millimeter thick styrofoam glued 
to a popsicle stick, I will smooth it out, round it out, so it won't be quite that tall. But it'll definitely be, once you put all the flock on there, clump foliage, we'll see how that turns out. I've got them, I think this might be warping it. Again, I should probably paint it first. Let's see what happens when I take this off. Let's just do this live. And, and, and using these things kind of press down the thing, but I'm okay with that. This is tacky glue. Oh, shoot. Um, so, so definitely let it really completely dry. And I'll get a sander or the hot glue gun or the hot wire cutter and cut it down. And then add clump foliage and then some trees. We'll see what we get. So these would be really what's up here. I mean, they're it's double the thickness of what I've got. So you start, you know, clumping the foliage in there. That'll be more more bocage like. I, mean, I can put a piece of this here to and I wouldn't need as many strips. <laughs> You know, I'll, I'll use it down here. Okay. That's all I'm working on. i put these away now. Put my little clippers, uh, those away. Trying to clean out the room. Um, did an inventory of my 15s. I think I've done an inventory of my other stuff and ready to start trying to sell some of the other scales. Okay, so then the bocage goes off to this angle. And then, oh, there's another gate. Shoot, I shouldn't have got rid of the fences yet. So, come this way. And then there's a gate and a little Y from there. So, from out here. Was up here like that. Let me go get the fences again. These stone walls I got from Battlefront do not have any fences. But fortunately, I built all this foreground fencing and it has it. It doesn't really matter in the gameplay, at least the way I'm playing it right now. So I'm not going to spend more about it too much. It just looks better. Got a little bit of fences for the farmers to get to the fields. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then it's going to jag off. That's a long way. Jag off. Jeez, watch your mouth. So at some point, I'm going to run out of these very quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll just put down some of the moss and the clump foliage and lines <clears throat> to uh, make it work. This goes up about to the back side of that, so we'll go up that direction. Funny thing is, I don't have fields enough. Well, I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so there's that. So how's that looking on the camera? It's coming together. Uh, no one commenting. It's a pretty quiet night online. I was online trying to see if I could find someone to join me for this, and Discord, and Facebook, and I think we're going to bed. I guess that's what we need to do. Yeah, I think I've been with the fences. Again, it's not that critical. Maybe we'll get one more just for aesthetics. Huh. I'm going to change my road, too. All right, well, I'll put this over here. I may want a fence later. I might want to change the way this road goes over here. I might want to go straight up of here and then turn.
funny I bought some of these roads recently too and really do you have too many roads really I'm not sure you can oh I know what I've got for that uh, that's some roads I made myself They look like bacon, though, on the pictures. Yeah, this looks like bacon or chocolate. And the lighting here is terrible because it's all in the front. Lighting 101 <clears throat> for videos. Yes, these are all jacked up, warped. We bought some fat Franks, and those things are incredible. Um, okay, this is done. Yeah, the fat Frank roads are amazing. I could just use another another order of them. I mean, as much as you think you have, roads are paving roads, paving the, the world is making roads around the world is hard. Tarred. Um, I definitely need more cobblestone. Holy mackerel. I'd have a city fight in a troll. So no quit making them. Anyway, so I'm getting all these armies and it's pretty exciting, but it's um, I budget myself out a certain amount every week kind of an allowance for gaming. And uh, yeah, I pretty much shot my wad as it were, as they say. Uh and two two purchases so yay me but i'm excited because i told as i was talking you know it's about oh my gosh i mean easily easily 10 years worth of building for me buying building i mean painting i've, I've had some of these 15s i think for eight years seven years and they're they're not done i just don't make it happen yeah that needs to be white that i think that forest is a little wide I think I might slide it over a little bit i don't know if it's gonna really matter i don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of action back there anyway action jackson um so I'm pretty excited about it though. I mean, it's very cool to be, have that, those coming in. So this will go here. I'll be pretty busy priming those, or painting the British, so I still have to do that. I'll still take time. So Curtis is still working on my airborne. Thing is, I could use a whole nother, I mean, it's so funny. I. Got all these minis to paint, and I'm really only going to have enough for really a. I mean, it's it should be like three platoons worth, but it's not. Well, no, yeah, I mean, I got 96 figures that I sent to Curtis, and it's still. So this is all supposed to be filled between there and that thing. Is there another bocage there? Oh no, no, it's a field and then a blank. Oh, okay. Um, it's amazing how much it takes to build and build up your collection. Here we we'll start about Jerry, who's built up this amazing collection. Um, years and years. But anyway, so it's about ten years worth for me, as slow as I work and paint and stuff, and buy, and it's going to help me put up more scenarios and. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, so I am now officially out of my 
quote unquote bocage. And we'll now bring over, bring over, bring in the clump foliage. How's it looking there? Why? It is a quiet night on the internet. It's still looking quite plain, isn't it? All right, so now from that fence, I need to go over there and put a big old chunk. I should maybe. So this moss stuff is interesting. I'm curious. I also could get some bigger clump foliage. Let me just see the different kinds. Um, but this moss, if you leave it out, I think it dries out. And I don't know if it, you want it to do that or not. So this, I've got, sorry to give that view to you all. All right, so then we have two lines going out from the corner of the house and from here in the fence. So this is awesome. So look too close, look if you're underwater. It looks like they make it pretty narrow up there. Gosh, maybe just glue these to a popsicle stick. Yeah, and then just kind of crank it over there like that. Sorry, I keep looking at the camera to see what it looks like. Okay. Anybody on? Anybody chatting? Anybody watching? I don't, man. This is, uh, am I live? Am I going? I think I am. Oh, no. I got three viewers. Hey. 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 Hey, you. Hey, you three viewers. Let me know who you are. Okay. Um, fields. I got these battlefront fields, and I need, like, four of them. So, where did I put those fields? I need to relabel and organize where things are. I might actually have enough here. So, comment. If you're watching, let me know who you are. Maybe you are commenting. Let me refresh. Dan, what's up, Dan? What's going on with you, Dan? What's your plans for the new year? What's a happening? So I do have enough fields. I will build myself a little field. So it kind of angles off. Oh, yeah, they kind of... Hmm, how are we going to do this along this road? I've kind of changed the way the road... kind of border that road. It's the only problem with these things are really they're great. Again, you can't see them because because you know. Use them together like this. This is cool. You know, I'll just put uh, all right, what you do here. Well, let's do that in a minute. Let's do that. So let's get the bocage done and then I'll, I'll worry about this other stuff. So the so it's all plowed fields and stuff. There's no um I see. So they kind of put, so I'll just do that here. I'm going to build that in here. It's going to go up to that corner. So from here to here, we'll be able to kind of do This corner is a good place to uh, divide the land. So Dan, I was just saying, I got, uh, 
my war chest has gone into a debt for the war efforts. I keep a ledger, kind of an allowance I keep with track in my journal notebook that I have. And, uh, you know, like I put, put a certain amount in that ledger every week and it's kind of like an allowance. And so I know how much I have to spend on games and things, hobby, without the, without worrying about it. Um, and then I sell games and minis and whatever to also help build that up. We got some board games to sell. I think there might be a fence in there. That would make sense. So let's put a fence in there. Anyway, um, I bought two armies. British, late war British, or slash Canadian, and late war German. The German is comprehensive on the tanks it has. Now, I already have a, a few Germans, so that'll help round that off. The Actually, the British Canadian came with some Americans from the open fire box set. Everything in the Canadian thing is primed. So I need to do painting on that, but it's, it's probably 10 plus years worth of work. And I've got to think way more than 10 years worth of buying and I'm getting a really good, I got a really good deal on it. If you look at what first was, especially painted minis. So I'm pretty excited about that. Who else? Got? Craig, what's going on, man? Oh, New Zealand. All right. Uh, Dan played another game of ASL last night with my brother. Planning to play that each week over the next month, starting to get the rules down again. That's cool. Have you read the blog Grumble Jones, Dan? He's he's kind of an inspiration for me. Uh, he plays ASL. He play, he he pretty much plays weekly for the last four, five, six, seven, I don't know, years. He plays with the same person for the most part. Kind of changes up a little bit. It's very cool. And his his AARs are great. Shows maps and GIFs and He's great. He's great. And what's cool is just, just his consistency. He goes to tournaments. He does stuff. He, it seems like a really good time. And the way he plays it is not via vassal, but he'll have a camera like this set up, like almost, but it's like right on top of the board. His friend, they live in a different cities, obviously. Also has the board set up with a camera. And then they also have a camera on the dice, which I, I think that's funny because I know these guys know each other and, you know, are pretty confident that they're not cheating, but I don't know. I guess it's just a, it's, it's just part of it, immersion of it. I'm gonna put a tree there, I think. Um, but it's so cool. It's and like I said, it's an inspiration because he's found a game, he's focused on it, and he plays it consistently and he blogs consistently, uh, and it's very cool. Grumble Jones, G R U M B L E J O N E S. Good stuff. Okay, so that needs to shoot off in that direction. Hmm, I can almost use that whole. Don't really have a straight up and down picture, so I'm kind of guessing a little bit on the sizes of things. I think that's about right. And that's going to shoot. Oh, that's yeah. The field's like way off where the trees are. So I'll probably extend that. Anyway, that's cool. ASL I think is a tremendous game. Um, I just a um, little beyond me uh, consistently. So, but I love it. I think people who play it, I applaud. It. I tell people. If you're interested at all, give it a shot. Start with the starter kit. Find someone to play. That's what I did. There are many great groups. St. Louis has got a great group where I live. Um, people like Dan play. I don't even really know Dan. But he's on my, he watches my channel, so he can't be that bad. Right, Dan? Um, I don't know. People like Dan play. People like uh, Jim Burris. People Grumble Jones. And just a great... Um, How's it looking? Um, thanks, Dan, about the terrain. Uh, so, hey, Craig, I just asking. I appreciate you guys coming on, and chatting, kind of let me know if people are there. Craig, what are you working on? What do you do? 
you probably told me a million times if you have i apologize um that was a big old flock chunk of moss um yeah craig what are you what are you working on what's going on there in new zealand It's a huge chunk. Can I tear that apart or will that just be a shredded mess? I don't even know what this stuff is. Is this like organic or something? Anyway, um, it says moss, so, you know, moss is moss. Um, that's cool. I, I don't know. I, that's the thing about, I mean, I, I got out of the ASL thing just... I knew I wouldn't play it that much. And the thing I would miss the most is the community. I mean, I felt bad telling the local guy who helped me learn the game that I was getting out of it. Like, I felt kind of guilty. Because he's a good guy. So it's like leaving, leaving friends. Okay, so that is there. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I see you another bag for this and get rid of this bag. Um... Tree, happy tree there. With the perfect uh, tree for this corner over here. There we go. So I was going to put a fence in over here. So I'm missing some. I think no, my double polish. Mm, do I need to line that road? I need to line this part of the road with it. Look over here. Let's put it like this. This will just be filler. I have a bunch of bocage on this side, so guess what? I'm going to make another a tree here in the corner looking natural. And like even here. Um, yeah, so I need some bocage there. So this stuff I won't count as anything. Or if this is loud. Let's see if Craig answered. Oh, now we're getting, getting looking cool. Thanks, Craig. Been having fun painting my Bretonians and looking forward to playing some fit. Oh, oh yeah, Dan, you're the one fifth edition. Okay. So I should, I wish I should get you on here to talk about that a little bit. So you kind of got out of it. They changed the editions. I think it's cool that you're kind of going back to that. Um, Man, this moss smells funny, man. Is it like uh, spore? I just released the spores. I'll go up to this road here. Call that good. I feel like I got pretty large gaps over here. So I need to put some trees. I think this almost is like an orchard between the house and here. Um, I'll make it like I'll, I'll make it so. Caroline, so the orchard will count as something, the trees will count, I guess. I'll have to kind of read the rules and see if they describe if the, like, this stuff over here will be an actual orchard. How far did that go? That goes all the way over there. So like, I'm going to pull a little bit more on this side. 
I think it's cool you're doing that, Dan. Oh, Dan, you're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Sorry, Dan, you're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Um, playing SL, getting that going again. Playing uh, Warhammer, fifth edition. Well, so I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try. So I'm kind of Flames of War curious, but really not that interested because. Um, because uh, every game I see looks like a friggin' parking lot. So I kind of just turn off of it. But Curtis uh, from Forge and Hammer and Forge painting, from the GM Alco, from a Dash of a Lawn. I mean, put that away yet. Um, he and I were up really late uh, chatting one night and um, I was assembling some. Some uh, Flames of War stuff, and it was one of the El Alamein sets, and I bought it a year ago and tried it out, and I, you know, I had a really good time. And it's just tanks, so not a whole lot there. So then I need to put some trees by that fence there. This, again, seems natural. Um, and then they have some trees here. So what I could put over here then. Um, so I had a really good time. I've been kind of curious. I bought a, a 25 pound box of, um, seems weird to have a fence there. Um, 25 pound box of third edition books. And so I, um, Kind of had them hang around, and I played that, and it was fun. I, I immediately ordered a fifth, fourth edition book, some markers, a template, and I really thought about it. I'm really in this mode of just playing what I've got, core type of stuff, and I am um, I kind of regretted that decision because I'm like, why, when, how? I don't like the way their command is in that edition. In fourth edition, um, they definitely simplified it, and it's definitely quick to play, and that's good. That's a good thing. Um, but <clears throat> <sighs> so I canceled the order. I don't do that often, but I, I canceled that order. I gotta find a place to put this stuff. Um, and uh, I said, you know, I've got all this third edition stuff. I want to play it. And that's why I chose third edition. Also because um, Mark Severin's got Flames of Awesomeness, Flames of Awesome Sauce. Um, if I want to play kind of a, a version that's a little, maybe a little bit more realistic. Um, okay, what am I doing here? I need to fill up this orchard. All right. I don't think it's a forest because it's not marked off as this forest. I'm going to say it's an orchard. Not even off to look at the rules there. Um, look at the scenario description, I guess, is a better word for it. Um, so, I have third edition, so I'm going to. I'm going to try that. And of course, I'm going to not do it the way it's written. I'm going to play it. I, mean, I guess I'm going to make it an orchard. I might as well make it an orchard until I hear otherwise. Um, so I'm going to play that. I don't know where this started. But anyway, I'm trying to kind of also get to a place, even though I know I just bought two armies, of getting the stuff that I really want to play. I can use bigger trees for 15, by the way. Send them to Terra by Tenor and Hobbyist, Todd at 12345 Awesome Street. Again, these are all made for six, but they work, especially orchards.
kind of go up to the street here and up to the house and And so that's kind of so it's cool that you're kind of going back. So anyway, I played that. I played classic squad leader recently. I played. Uh, I'm going to play third edition Flames of War. I have a feeling when um, third edition Bolt Action comes out, I'll probably stick with two. But who knows? If I go to D10, that could be interesting. But then you have to buy all new books, which drives me flipping crazy. Which is why I never wanted to invest in those systems in the first place, or Flames of War for that matter. But um, I'm doing it anyway. So I recently did a video of my favorite games over the decade, and Bolt Action was my top mini game. Just really enjoyed it. I know I kept going. I can't believe that's the case. But I really, every time I play it, I have a good time. Smile on my face, solo or opposed. And uh, so I'm like, well, why deny it? Okay, so this is just scatter here. Just, uh, I learned this from Jerry. Here you, oh, gotta put your, oh man, I need trees over here. Crap. For some reason I need bigger trees. I need more trees like that, just taller and wider. Maybe wider bases. I don't have to worry too much about out here because there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff happening out here. Got a bunch of winter trees. I can't put winter trees though. It just ruins the whole vibe. We could put some dead ones. <clears throat> this seems kind of weird. It kind of ends. I should put a tree near the end here. Go out here, kind of scatter them around. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to get out to kind of look it up. Huh. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to put this down here. square but so I was testing some painting and someone suggested I just um, use these to discolor the land a little bit so I'll do it I was gonna do this to the whole I got is paint their whole mats and stuff I wasn't like really it was coming out I was a little concerned about that so let's put some scatter here and I have the blend doesn't mean anything, it's just to kind of change the look of it and stuff. So I do hope to get some people over for this. I've been solo playing for most of my life, and I'm changing my tune that I want to get more games in person. I think that's why I kind of went into a little gamer funk. Um, when I play, even though it's tough for me to do, I don't even know why it's tough for me to do, it's ridiculous, but it is. When I do it, I feel way better and I get more excited about the hobby. So, I need to glue some of my forests again. My forest of indoor. Okay. Here's another piece here, I think. What is that over there? Why do I have this big gap over there? I think there should be a tree over there, but I'm out of trees. What I want to use over there. Oh, just bocage it up. Okay, so there's that. Sorry, it's loud. That is another drawer. So let me try one other thing here.
in a reevaluating storage system. I'm a big guy, big on storage. They're looking for here. Oh yeah, these are probably too big. I'm gonna try painting these to test that out as well. Those are probably too big for this. I need to cut some more small ones. So. These aren't anything but just variations on a theme, as it were. Oh, yeah, it would be really nice to get better. Bring the noise came up on my Spotify today. No, I can think of this public enemy. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. Huh. The only thing about this fabric I don't like is you have any sort of snag on your finger, skin, nail. You pull it up, a little snag on your mace. I have some corduroy. Thanks for good varying up the field look. Put this down here, just spray paint later. Some new trees I'm working on. I'm going to add those to my bunch here. Let's put these here so there are some bigger ones. I'm going to put these smaller ones over here. Look like, oh my gosh, they look like they're glowing. They're so bright. They're styrofoam. I just need to base them, flock, flock them up. Okay, I think we're almost done, boys and girls. Now I just need to throw some scatter around. Some people throw um, that moss around, but I don't, I'm not going to do that since I have moss as, yeah, definitely need some rough ground in the woods. Tomorrow, I'll be Googling and goggling over my new British Army. I'm hoping it's not too destroyed. He said there's some repairs there will be needed. Some, um, so that'll be interesting to see how much it really is. How many repairs are low or a lot? I'm a little nervous. And just also how they ship, right? How well they ship, how well they packed it. Spent a lot of money on it. Show up broken. So. A little nervous. Service. I feel like Bob Ross a little bit, except for I'm not as smooth talking. And it is now past midnight. Time for me to go to bed. Sorry to keep having to look at my um uh, well, whatever. Now, I'm probably going to have to change this around a little bit because I believe Okay. All right. Well, there you go.
We've got a car I'll probably put up here. You can get some like tractor parts and you know, that's kind of stuff that makes the table look really interesting. I have some cables, phone cables, power lines. Put those up. Let's do that. Where are those? Where are those now residing? Well, first of all, let's put this away. get better about having having a place for everything if I don't have a place for it oh that's not gonna work <laughs> like that then I don't need it what am I gonna do with that? telephone cables are three boxes from the bottom so we're gonna worry about that right now there's that All right, what else? What other comments do we have going here? Oh, holy mackerel. All right. Um, enjoying our summer. Lots of board games with the wife. Looking at getting back into 15 mil World War II. Just met a new war gamer locally who mid-war Americans. Mainly painting 18 millimeter naps lately. So that's Craig. Todd, looking for rule set that's not Flames of War. Well, battle group. Um, I ain't been shot, Mom. Um, bolt action. Chain of command. Uh, a Blitzkrieg commander. It's different, though. There's a lot out there. Check out my video about my top games. Paul Pale, Beckus. Check out his. Good luck doing that. That's, it, it's fun. It's part of the hobby, right? Finding that rule set. Fifth is when I got into the game. I was really excited about it. Life got busy with family and work, so I had to put it aside until now. Battle group looks really good, says Dan. I I like it. I'm, I'm for some reason I struggle making army lists. I say that every video. Um, but it, it's pretty straightforward. It's not too bad, and they put a lot of time. And it's I would say it's more historical based than like a Flames of War or Bolt Action. Um, so that makes it nice. Um, Uh, Craig says Flames War got me back in the gaming, but I agreed in like a parking lot thing. Craig, Dan, yes, I like to look at Battleground. I think even Battle Group. Both you said sorry, Battle Group. Dan, I tried like to like Flames War, but never bought in. Battle Group looks a lot better. Right now, all I have is 28 mil for Bolt Action, probably my favorite game. Right. So it's cool. Craig, your buildings for your 28s are really nice, Dan. Thanks, Craig. I like making terrain as much as painting minis. And Craig, I like how, many, how a game looks more than playing sometimes. Yeah, I think that's probably true with a lot of people. Craig. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle a line of sight with this three-story building, but I probably won't worry about it. Times of war, you can climb floors, but this, this doesn't allow you to do that. You're in one level one level i'm not gonna probably worry about that too much though you could i mean it's actually got a fourth floor i mean you could see over the bocage um technically not, not too much though interesting i'm not gonna probably worry about that too much at this point but it would be fun to figure out well because i do have a sniper actually oh okay um, I get 10 inches. So this is, like I said, this is a battle group game. This is a battle group. You can find it for free, this um, write-up on how to play. It's old, it's like, but it's pretty much all the same. 
In the field with Charlie Platoon. Pardon me. I think you can find it at the Battle Group Facebook page, official and unofficial. You can probably find it. Just look up in the field with Charlie Platoon Battle Group, a detailed introduction to Battle Group, World War II tabletop rules. It's a squad level. I pretty much will only play squad level with Battle Group uh, just because there's other games I play with bigger armies. Um, um, what am I trying to say here? Anyway, it's got a table, gives you the army list, and then it goes through the entire game. Uh, the entire game goes through a lot of it. Jeez, it's long. Conclusion, yeah. Turn, nine turns. Written by Warwick. Models used. Yeah, and they use some of the same kind of materials I use for this. So there's the table. Um, thanks for the compliments on it. Um, Here's a uh, newly put together Panther tank on it. Mm, can't see it. It's gray right now, just primed. Oh, boy, well, you really can't see that. Here's a half track. Coming down the road, not knowing that there's a Panther right here on the other side. You can't really zoom in with this either, sorry. So there you go. Um, some of the boxes away and your final comments from anybody agree craig thanks todd we'll look for that yeah that'll give me a good idea how battle group plays there's a few good videos so there's this like acceptable casualties is a youtube channel acceptable casualties um sure i can't remember his name that does it but he's now joe Valetri Joe V is now making games. Gladiator. Timmy, have you ever you like Gladiator movies? Anyway, Gladiator games. Um, but acceptable casualties. He goes through the whole thing, how to play, how to set it up. He's just he doesn't share with minis. That's the only thing about the videos. I wish he did, but that takes more time. He just kind of goes goes over every rule with you, and then he has a he has the most battle reports out there, and then there are a couple others. Uh, uh, Curtis Dashvalon has some videos. I don't know if he really does it how to play, but he has some um, battle reports. And then there's a few more battle groups, but there's not a whole lot. There's a good uh, one put on Warwick Crinkade, the author King Ray uh, uh, did, where he explains the rules. Um, and I'm trying to think of who he was talking to. I think Modeling Dads. I don't even know if their videos are still up. Modeling dads or something like that. They had really good videos for Flames War, and then I don't know where they went. Some it's amazing. We all get busy and stuff. And some of these channels are just incredible, and then they just fade away. It's the life, man. So I think basically, um, and there's fortified. Um, I get ten inches of fortified bocage. I don't even know what that means. Um, two 10 inch links of fortified bocage, a sniper hideout, and booby trapped building. <laughs> he said booby trapped. So, I'm not sure where to put that 10 inches or how to represent it. I could put like these, um, I pulled out these. Battlefront uh, like foxholes, but in um, Battlefront Flames War, you can dig in. I might have to use them for that, and that's not 10 inches. So I might actually. I think I might use this um, Russian fence I have for this fencing. Ooh, I could use um. I don't even know how they really fortify it. I mean, I don't, but. Which would I rather use, stone or 
wood. I think I used stone. So 10 inches. Um, anyway, there it is. I'm excited. So anyway, so those are uh, those are some resources to look up on YouTube about Battlefront or Battle Group. <clears throat> they seem to care about history, you know, a little bit. So that's cool. Chain of Command is really good. They care about history, and they've got amazing groups of scenarios. Most scenarios out there. Um, and so does uh, I ain't been shot mom from True Fat Lardies. They have a ton. I mean, they have a ton of scenarios for that. Command Decision also has tons of scenarios for that, but that's a bigger game. I don't think it sounds like probably what you're into right now. These are both six inches. Those are three. So I might have nine inches, two nine inch sections of. I just put them in the same place they put them in the example play. Um, yeah, let me see. Tell me what you guys figure out later. Oh, Al Red Sox fan. What's up, man? Got Dan, Craig, and Al. Three people watching. Thanks, Mr. Tub. What game is this table for? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a long time ago. I did that. Um, yes. Okay. Um, this is going to be play a game of battle group, a game of bolt action, and a game of flames of war. The Flames War may not be the best one. I may have to kind of change the armies because they're very small armies, but that's that. So let me see where they put these fortified bocages. Uh, forward and second. One and two. It's hmm. a little bit more. Oh, no. There one. Oh, wow. Okay. So straight across from the fence to that. I'm just putting a um, fencing. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, fantastic. I know they didn't just put stones up to make it fortified, but what else do I need? Sniper hideout was in five. I don't know how you do that. So he's going to be in this corner here. I guess we'll use that tree as a center. So he's going to be in this corner. So you can see down that way and all the way down this way. Cool. I don't know if I really have. I think I'll use that tree. I think if I have something that would be a good sniper hideout. So it's going to be Battle Group, Flames of War. Bolt action, and I will, if not film them live, will definitely talk, do battle reports. So, all right, what else is going on? Anything else, uh, gentlemen? I'll say gentlemen because that's pretty much what I have on here right now. Uh, feel pretty good about it. I think it looks pretty decent, even, even my styrofoam bokeh here. Some people over here playing it. So people know um, I have my minis based in twos because I did that a long time ago with my when I was going to play Command Decision because that's kind of how you do it. Essentially, this base size a little different. I'm leaving a gap here to put some sort of army marking, like first platoon, second squad, or first company, second platoon, whatever. 
but I use these for battle group, bolt action, and bolt action for spacing for stuff. I allow two inches in between the stands because you know these guys would be one inch apart, and that next group would be two inches from this guy. So I figure you know that way I can kind of get let them gap out two inches. Um, it would take up the same, you know, five stands of ten guys would go out ten inches. If that's if I'm doing the math right, and, um, and these are paras that were painted by. Nope, these are not paras. These are British. I bought these painted, but I cannot remember from whom I bought them. So yeah, here it is, man. Get your tiger, tiger panther. Turn the thing down there. Shoot down that row. Fuff wham. Scuff sufloosh. I don't even know how to do orchards here. I think probably just make it. You know. Up to see this cart, this uh, grass is cool because you can kind of drive and see the track. Um, probably just pretty much anything in here is kind of concealed, tough shooting. So anyway, this is, uh, but I'm going to base it this way for Flames of War too. So two of these will be, I know, I know, two of these will be a squad. So this will be a team. The other guy will be a team because it's not that critical what's in it. You'll be, have it written down. It's not ideal, but I find that's one thing I find odd about Flames of War that it's just as one on one to one. The armies that I bought, they will be all based in Flames of War. Maybe I'll play the first games with that, but I will eventually rebase them all to twos. So I can use it for skirmish, and then I could use these are also used for Blitzkrieg Commander. There, this is a platoon. I'm trying to think how I might do my tables different when this is a platoon to kind of help differentiate. Um, like I might make these more, more orchard-like and make it kind of an area terrain type of thing, an area of a terrain. And then, like, yeah, something like that. I'm excited to see. The Germans don't get tanks in this battle because they're on the defense. It's supposed to be U.S., so if I use, I don't know, I use U.S. and U.S. U.S. and British. I don't have a dozer Sherman, but I may fake it. So what else? Any other questions? Ha ha ha, that's funny, Dan. Ha ha ha. Dan says, maybe the bocage is fortified with vitamin C. Well, this moss might be. All right, I gotta take a picture of this, fellas. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. You know, it's just chatting um, via the text and talking. It really makes it a lot nicer. And it's fun talking to you and see what you guys are working on. It's inspiring. Keep going. I'm doing this hobby. Al, of course, as usual, thanks for jumping on. Al has a great sports channel. He focuses on sports and does some uh, some video games. It's really, well, he does video sports games for sure. And um, board, dice, and card uh, sports games. He's a collection of a uh, few guys that do that primarily that. Um. And then we got Dan and Craig on here, so check them out. Um, all right, that's that. We'll uh, check you guys next time when I'm uh, up and playing. I don't schedule these games. I really should to let people know when I'm playing, um, but I, this is not how it's not, this is not how this channel works. All right, we'll talk to you all uh, later. See ya. Or as we like to say, bye bye.